Data poverty is where a person is unable to afford a secure and safe internet connection that meets their personal needs. We know that data poverty is a significant issue in the UK and it affects millions of people every day. So the pandemic has really thrown data poverty into really sharp focus. We're an increasingly digital society. But what the pandemic's done is shone spotlight on uh, those people who don't have adequate access to data. And that stops them doing things like accessing the best deals on shopping and services, for example. It stops them accessing information on health and well-being. And it can also you know, prevent them from accessing training uh, opportunities and, and applying for jobs as well. So it really has a far-reaching impact. So it's a really key thing in our digital society uh, for people to have access to adequate data. The Data Bank will work with community partners like this one here in Stockport. They know their people in their local community, they know their needs, they'll make an assessment and then they will provide people with data voucher codes which can be used with O2 SIM cards to give them the access to the data they need to do the things they need to do. So the starting point is a community hub based in Woodley and Stockport. During the pandemic there's definitely been a bigger need for people to get online. A lot of people I speak to, they need a short term data loan just to be able to do job searching or maybe just get the universal credit sorted out. We're investing 7.5 million gigabytes of O2 mobile data into the new National Data Bank via data vouchers and SIM cards with the aim of helping at least 200,000 people to get connected by the end of 2023 and we know that Virgin Media O2 can't solve this problem alone, which is why we're inviting other UK mobile operators to join the National Data Bank and to donate data so that we can end digital poverty for good, helping everyone to enjoy the benefits of a connected digital future.